Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. It's Lee from Magnetic North Adventures. And today we're going to be magnet fishing along this canal in Long Eaton. We're meeting up with David Jones. And um, yes, we're going to fish the canal. Uh, I'm joined with Gavin today. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. And um, this is where we are currently, and just in here, there's definitely push a push bike there. There's a push bike up that way, some scaffolding. So yeah, th this could be a good area. Um, we're actually meeting somebody all the way at the end of this path. So we go fish up that way, and I'm going to tell my friend about this metal down here, because he's local. So he, he can come and fish all that and Scrapman can come and collect all that as well. So Gavin's very eager. He's got this uh, trolley he's using, he's got his winch in there. But we have got a bit of rain coming in a bit folks. So I'd just like to mention that we have got as well um, a challenge that's been given to us from Johnny White of Johnny's Corner. Please go and check him out, like, subscribe and comment. But it's going to be hashtag clean up challenge 2024. So basically that is, if we see any rubbish, we'll pick it up. Make a cleaner environment. So just here, I've got a, a beer can, just there. So that's going with us. And uh, I can see David down that way. But yes, one beer can to start. I have got gloves with me. So that's a bonus. So on that one, I've got an earring fastener some bits of shards and just a piece of magnet rock on that one and on that one I've just got a large nail magnet rock general waste of shards magnet shards Gavin's down there fishing with David and uh, David Jones go check him out and Gavin's just got a bracket a and a battery bonus. So Gav's here. He's found a fishing chair. I don't think he wants to sit on it. Yeah, and a massive bar uh, with a bit of angle metal on it. And on that one, I've just had a couple of brass screws and this big bar out here. That's cool. So, Gavin's down here. This is long eaten in the background with these Victorian 1800s industrial buildings. Beautiful brick buildings there. Beautiful architecture. This is real history, so you never know. Sometimes you get bits, sometimes you don't, but we're always cleaning the environment. So David's just got his bucket there. He's getting a few bits and pieces into that. A few casts. I've just had this. It's a nut and bolt. I did actually think when it come in that it was part of a cannonball. Got some general litter out for the clean-up challenge. Just bits of rotten. A pipe connector. David has pulled these First and Second World War equipment buckles. Right, so this is where I'm fishing, folks. Gavin's decided to go all the way down to the bridge, but he decided he wanted to be down there on his own. So that's okay. David's still here. Um, we're having a nice chat and enjoying the day, as you do. Um, so yeah, where, where the fishing platform is, the derelict one, 
that's where the buckles have come from and it's only that area so somebody 1918 or 1944 1945 has dumped a load of webbing and in that webbing there's obviously the steel buckles which is what they are um, army webbing buckles from there and David's just pulling in some more bits of magnet rock David's just caught a swamp monster bit of it this is what he's found basically bars bits like that plate metal but underneath the swamp monster he's got a blue scooter is it a rider it's a razor scooter as well so that's a good brand rider. folks move, so it's, a rider. it's a oh i think he's it, gonna have to it, try that it, oh, I'm going to. Not sweet and um even though it's dirty it's in johnny's corner blue beautiful thing so he's just going to put it to the test the wheels do move Sweet, that's a decent find. That's cool. That's a nice find, well done. And uh, we had this earlier out, which is a shopping cart bag. A door handle fitting and a bracket from a TV. And just there, we've got a, a mirror, wing mirror, from a moped or a scooter. And uh, David's just pulled this bar out. Um, Perfect bars on there. Definitely looks like it's some sort of industrial fitting of some sort. Right, folks, something very exciting on this one. Yeah, yeah, you know what that is. Whoa, yeah. All right, so just come in, folks. We've just got, look at this. That's a nice, nice, nice combat knife. It's It's got a thing where a, a compass has been. Do you want to hold the magnet for me? Oh gosh, there we go folks. Let me hold it here. David's invited me up here and I've got one of the best finds that is of this what, year. That is... You can see it's got a screw here where it's had the, a screw on compass and in here there'd have been survival equipment. Right, so there needle there may well still be bits in that. Yeah, sewing needles, uh, dry pen, matches, things like that. So that could well be... Like a Bowie knife. World War II. Possibly like a combat survival knife. Wow. This is stuff dreams are made of. I love the trash. I've never, ever found anything like that. The best I've found was that sword bayonet last year. Wow, sweet. So, folks, that's Long Eaton. That's Nottinghamshire, Derbyshire. Sweet find. So, Gavin's been fishing down here. Somebody's actually took the bolted sign off a roadside bus stop, former bus stop. It's got this bit of a an Apollo. Not an Apollo magnet unfortunately but still it is it's not a rider and Gavin come here a second what's this it's your fan club so there we are what it's a fan it's club fan. <laughs> yeah that's cool but yeah that would have been a nice bike folks but it's turquoise green even got the bike and the bike lock as well so yeah they were desperate to get away with that one so on that cast two stars if you look careful 
pair of earrings. Just there. Yep, pair of earrings. Such stars. So, just add another knife, a little table, butter knife, and another spoon. Uh, it was spoon out there. Bit more general waste, some plastics, a bracket fit in, all these. What a beautiful boat going down, Kitty Little. Where are you from? Oh, wow. <laughs> There we go, folks. That's a beauty. Have a good day. And uh, just an update on what the other guys have got. Most of the scrap is down there. We've obviously got the buckles. We've got that knife. A uh, few other bits. We've got a bag of random... Uh, and some seaweed in there, salad, and, and yeah, th this random stuff, so all in there. So. Oh, so Gavin's just got something out. What you got? It's the blank from when they've stamped an ash tray out to the final form. Yeah, that's the bit where they put it in the press, and it's the off cut. So, if you hold it up, folks, can you see those little divots? That is the ends of where you'd have put your clay tobacco pipe or your cigarette. Probably 1930s. Um, pretty interesting. In there, if you don't want it. Um, and then it's just had these bits. Um, and I do believe, yeah, there you are. It's had the side pouch of some pocket earbuds from a phone or something so just said uh, this come out in the weeds and uh, it's a live shell and uh, it's gonna go back into the water so it can live in there where it's come from there we go folks nice and safe right so I was getting something heavy out there. I just had a small, small section of Christmas tree. And now this lot's just come in. What a mess that is, folks. But I've just got treasure. Absolute gorgeous treasure. Look at all this wire that things can get snagged on and animals get hurt on. There's a table lamp there or bit of a chandelier um there's some blue jewelry some clear jewelry some christmas baubles there's a, a star pendant there there's a, a very very nice look at that folks a beautiful beautiful fishing lure there oh that's a gorgeous thing wow and then these lovely bits on here, I'm going to have to go through all that, I think. Uh, there's a bit of a, a glass lantern there. And on my previous cast, I just pulled out this bracelet. It's got charms on it. Just there. And just here. So, a bit of bling. It's, it's going to be cleaned up. So a little dragonfly on that one, what? Absolute treasure. So, got a little padlock here. It would have been painted with colours on it. 1970s diamond brand. Hold it up, Gavin, please. I don't think it's a worker. But it's still a padlock, folks. Yeah. Nice find. So, walking around... There hasn't been too much litter, thankfully. But remember, every single piece picked up, every single piece removed out of the environment, regardless what it is, big or small, keeps the environment nice and clean. 
So if we can clean the land, we can clean the waters when we magnet fish in any waterway. Uh, that's what it's about. So, a bag of general trash, beer cans, coffee cups, sweet wrappers, chocolate wrappers, things like that, some paper receipts. That's what I picked up, generally, from this beautiful, beautiful towpath. And just whilst I'm talking to you, there's another piece just there. Into the bag, off it goes, nice and clean. Look folks, doesn't it look better when it's clean? Just imagine we could have a beautiful, beautiful, clean world. If everybody picked one piece up, it helps. And uh, in this water, this particular canal is that clean that, as you saw, we didn't get too much for several hours, but you can actually see the bottom. And uh, you can even see fish in there as well. So yes folks, look at that, beautiful, clean environment. And now that this trash is out of it, it looks a bit cleaner. So I'm happy about that. So challenge accepted, challenge done. Clean up challenge 2024. There we go folks. And just here, We've got a lovely, lovely dustbin. What I'm going to do is put this exactly where it should be. So let's get that into there. Trash has been trashed. There we go, folks. Job's good. Right, folks, this is where we've been cleaned up this is the scrap from the day all here nice and cleaned up Gavin's down there he's tired yeah so yep oh look the big dragonfly just gone past that's cool I wish I could have caught that on camera right so that's been a good day enjoyed that one and uh, fished Long Eaton Canal David and Gavin and uh, today's shout out is Jonesy's Magnet Fishing go and check him out like and subscribe please and uh, he's mainly on Facebook at the moment but you know what he could well be doing YouTube at some point so go and give him a like Thanks, and uh, check his Facebook page out I'm sure he'll appreciate the support so from me in Long Eaton and from this man over here Hi. he's really tired and from David cheerio folks don't forget to like subscribe and comment and until next week's video bye for now everyone